Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and uh, well we've got our hands here on the uh, satellite elite HD receiver the famous new receiver that is coming out actually this month the new uh, Ethan elite satellite uh, HD radio so AM FM shortwave aircraft radio and HD radio um, I thought I'd make a video of observations on its features that are noted in this manual. So, of course, there's all the the manual, the display, which is a dot matrix display. And uh, what we're going to look at here, particularly, are the major features of the Elite Satellite HD. So, frequency coverage of 130 to 50 to three uh, thirty thousand kilohertz is you know, it's kind of a standard you know long wave medium wave short wave no gap so that's nice um medium wave broadcast and um and long wave then there's the fm broadcast you can select from 76 to 90 or 87 108 reception of course am fm stereo single sideband and separate upper lower sideband in CW mode. So this is note to note. This is not something we see uh, very often, actually. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the highlight feature here. I'm going to highlight in uh, in green some of the things that we want to highlight. So CW is one of them that we want to highlight here. So CW, that we don't see much on portable radios. It's usually either um, single sideband with, of course, a BFO, or it's upper lower sideband, and that's it. So this is one thing we don't see much. 5.7 inch square display. So that's 5.7 by 5.7, which is a pretty big display. 240 by 320 pixel dot matrix modes, functions, and so on. Kind of nice. So that's a nice display. Um, programmable memories, well, 500 user programmable, but that, you know, I mean, most portables have hundreds and some have thousands. So it's not something that I look at much. It's a digital phase lock loop PLS synthesized tuning with direct digital synthesis, DDS. That is interesting. Drift-free frequency stability, and finest tuning resolution that just out of just just my personal comment better be accurate because in here we don't see anywhere in the manual of any way of calibrating the frequency so this thing better be on dot on the frequency if you can calibrate it because at six hundred dollars it is unacceptable that it's off frequency. So hopefully this is going to be perfect from the start when you get it from the uh, the manufacturer, from the store. Dual conversion super head. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, if we look at Texan PL, uh, Texan H501X, which is, um, you know, half price, it's a triple conversion. Excellent sensitivity that we're going to see. Uh, today's radios are pretty much maxed out so in terms of sensitivity I don't think this radio gets anything that um, you know a good Texan or a good portable doesn't receive so uh, that I don't take into account much into you know the wording of excellent sensitivity one thing that might help here they do mention as many portables do not talk about this uh, di I dynamic range High dynamic range. Now that's interesting because um, that could make a difference. The dynamic range is the capability of your radio of coping with um, receiving a, a small or very weak signal right next to a very strong one. Uh, typically what happens usually when there's a very strong signal, the circuits in a radio are kind of stressed out if you want. And it can desensitize or create some higher noise level, which makes weak signals close to the strong signal difficult to get. Now, this, if it is better, could give it an edge, say, over the text and receivers 
if it's a better dynamic range. Selectable bandwidths, 1, 1 1.8, 2, 2.5, 3, 4, 6. They don't really say if they're on every mode. They just say that they're there. Um, and we don't really know how good they are because there's different quality of filters. So um, we'll see how that performs. But, you know, typical. Um, I mean, nice to have this choice. I know that some will be probably unhappy to not have maybe a 9 kilohertz on AM for better, say, medium wave reception for, for higher, you know, frequency response. Uh, single sideband synchronous AM detector with selectable upper lower sideband. So uh, we'll see how this works well. Uh, but remember that I'm not a guy that is... Uh, a big fan of this feature for one simple reason um, you can achieve the same thing exactly by simply tuning upper or lower sideband on an AM signal it does the same thing it's just that the synchronous AM detector will lock on up to automatically makes it easier uh, so we'll see if this one locks on and, and works great uh, another feature which you don't see on pretty much any of the portables that is the if pass band tuning this is an interesting because the pass band tuning what it does is that it lets you shift the intermediate frequency which will shift away to some extent signals that might be interfering with what you're trying to hear and um, i've used that on high-end radios like um the Kenwood R5000 has that. Uh, and definitely it sometimes is a very useful feature for DXing in a very crowded environment. So that is a function we don't see on portable radios in general. So it does give us a few little things here, a few hints of maybe why it's more expensive of some of these features. Um, variable rate tuning knob and keypad and so on. Direct shortwave band entry. Um, this, depending on how they actually have chosen the AGC, uh, on off. So that could be also something we don't see on a lot of, uh, you know, I've been ranting a little on the uh, AGC being kind of a little harsh on the Texan receivers. Uh, well, this could be um, something that makes single sideband softer to the ears now it says on off i would have rather have a choice of fast or slow because it depends on the slope and what uh, does off mean it's completely off and or it's completely on uh, that's wording is not clear because there are speeds to the automatic gain control so um, depending on how they selected it it could be a good thing. Uh, three color backlight. So that's interesting. Uh, three colors in the backlight. Interesting dual programmable clocks. And they can actually set automatically with WWV or RDS. RDS, that's already on many radios. But that's interesting. The clock can actually synchronize with WWV. That's an interesting one. I got to say. Uh, dual event programmable timers. Okay. Superior audio quality via bridge type audio amplifier. Um, that kind of resembles the um, high quality audio amplifier in the Texan H501X, for example. Uh, separate continuous bass, uh, bass and treble controls. Um, stereo, line in, stereo line level output for recording and routing the output to another device. Calibrated LCD signal strength meter. Now, what does that mean? That means they calibrated that S9 to be a S9. So they calibrated this to apparently be good. Now, I've said many times that in a lot of the Texan radios, and the most portables that I've seen anyways, the um, signal strength indicators are just way off and not that useful. Um, if they are truly calibrated and very well calibrated, 
that could be interesting. It will indicate the signal at a better precision if we want. Built-in antenna, telescopic for long wave, short wave, and AM and FM broadcast band. This is interesting. They say telescopic for long wave, short wave, AM and FM. External antenna connection for the addition of antennas. Um, specialized AM broadcast band antennas. Enthusiasts AM DXing FM broadcast band. So external antennas work on all bands. It is interesting to note that we have here no mention of a internal ferrite of any kind. That is interesting when you think about it. All radios have an internal ferrite. This one uses telescopic for long wave and AM, uh, which is a uh, interesting, unusual. We'll see how well that works. And power D cells. So this is a big radio because it can actually get four D cell batteries. And there's an included AC adapter. So uh, these are kind of the highlights. And um, we're going to see what that brings over time from this manual. How well this radio performs. That's going to be uh, something to see in the, um, in, in the tests of, of you know, operating it compared to other radios. Uh, that's for sure. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick look at the uh, kind of, you know, features of the new Ethon Elite Satellite uh, HD radio. And it's coming out this month, so some of you will have it soon from what I see. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.